Today we'll be creating this horror jump scare. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to set triggers for a jump scare, how to use interfaces to communicate with it, and how to add a camera shake effect to make it even more intense. Alright, so first we're going to create the interface for the first jump scare. And open it up, now give the interface a name. And now we're going to create the AI blueprint. And apply the character mesh. Now apply your jump scare. I cannot give these away because I got it from a paid pack for the price of $30. Link in description. But you can use your own animations. Open up your event graph. Set time dilation to zero. The time dilation node controls the speed of time inside of your game. Now you want to add your interface that we made. Double click on your interface. And when the interface gets triggered, then the logic will be played. Set time dilation to one. Add your AI to the graph. Set play rate is used to control the speed of the animation. Now you want to get this AI move to node. Now go to your level and place your AI into the world. Now move the AI to your desired end location. Now you want to copy the location. Control Z to undo. Now go back into your AI blueprint. Create this variable. And now paste the location. And then connect this variable into the destination of the AI move to node. When the AI reaches its destination, then we want to destroy the actor. Now we are going to create the trigger box that will be used for the two jump scares. Open that up. Now add your box collision. This is optional, but I'm changing the line thickness. Now scroll down. Now click on component begin overlap. If the actor that overlaps the trigger is equal to the player, then this branch will be true. If you hold B and left click, you can get this branch node or you can just search for it. Now create another branch. This branch will be used to play the first jump scare. Now create this variable. Make the variable public. And when this branch is true, then you want to call the jump scare interface message. When you compile and save, you will get this error because we need to apply a target. So create this variable. Now make it an actor and give it type object reference. Now drag it into the graph and get this is valid node. If this actor is valid, then we want to play the jump scare. Now connect the actor into the target. Now open up your level, and then drag your trigger into the world. We go back into your trigger blueprint and make this actor a public variable. Go back into your level and in the details panel, we will see the public variables. Click this dropper and select the AI because we want that actor to be triggered. Now add a nav mesh volume. This will be used to give the AI a path to navigate. Check this jump scare one box and then give it a test. Now we are going to work on the AI that pops up in your face. So open up your player blueprint. Now add a skeleton mesh and attach it to your camera. Then select your skeleton mesh. And then apply your animation and then just adjust the skeleton mesh to your liking. Now turn the visibility off for the skeletal mesh. Now we are going to create another interface. This interface will toggle the visibility of the skeletal mesh. Just give it a name. Now open up your player blueprint. Add your interface. Now we are setting up the visibility logic. Get this set visibility node. Alright, get this set visibility node. Get this set timer by event node. We want to turn the visibility of the AI to off after 2 seconds of being triggered.
After the timer, we want to clear and invalidate the timer. Now change the time to 2 seconds. I just opened a Discord for our community. It's a welcoming spot to connect, share your journey, ask questions, and just enjoy the game dev grind together. Link is in the description. Now open up your trigger blueprint. On the false of this branch, we are going to add another branch. Create this jump scare 2 variable. Alright, when the player gets jump scared, we want when to have the player some, gets jump sort, of scared, we have to the some sort of shake added to the player's screen. Alright. Change the scale to 2, and then we are going to play the jump scared sound. Now you want to call your visibility interface message. And then the target will be get player character. And then we want to stop the camera shake when the AI disappears. And then set this drum scare 2 variable to false. Now we are going to set up the shake. Create a blueprint class. And then search for legacy camera shake. Open up your blueprint. And then copy these values. And now you want to go back into your trigger blueprint and apply the shake that we just made. Now move this aside and hold S and left click to get the sequence node. Get this delay node and change duration to 2 seconds. Connect this jump scare 2 variable to the second output of the sequence node. Now go into your level. If you hold alt and drag, you can duplicate the trigger. Now we want to assign the jump scare to each trigger box. For the first trigger box, we want to assign jump scare 1. And for the second trigger box, we want to assign jump scare 2. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment with your thoughts or questions. I'll catch you in the next one.